The Hansen Research Group is interested in molecular photophysics and photochemistry, which is a fancy way for saying we shine light on molecules and we want us to know what happens to that light energy, be it electron transfer, energy transfer, bond making, bond breaking, isomerization. We want to understand that and control that for things like solar cells and photocatalysis and photomechanical polymers. So over millions of years, evolution has designed protein structures to control the orientation and distance between molecules so it can maximize things like energy transfer and electron transfer. As humans, we're not quite as good at that, but our, our long-term goal is to start controlling how we can uh, orient molecules relative to each other, how we assemble those molecules, and if we can control their structure and structural changes. One of the areas we're really interested in is using metal ion linked multi-layer assembly, basically taking an inorganic surface, adding a molecule, adding a metal ion, and then another molecule, and essentially controlling the structure and how the energy and electron transfer between those layers, and ultimately using this for solar energy conversion or things like quantum information sciences. Another area we're interested in is using surfaces to control molecular distortion. So anytime you add a stimuli to a molecule, it can distort, it can make a structural change, and sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Ultimately, we want to be able to control that by strategically binding them to the surface and doing things like increasing excited state lifetimes, increasing redox potentials, and then using that for various different applications. So students in the Hansen Research Group spend a lot of time doing spectroscopy and electrochemistry and ultimately device measurements. So after they leave my lab, they'll be very familiar with molecular photophysics and the processes and how you measure them with things like time-resolved emission and transient absorption, but also electrochemical techniques like determining redox potentials and measuring things like photocurrent.